Basketball is not the main thing in my life. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, I'm good at. I'm just happy that as a team, you know, individuals, if I'm individual, I'm gonna play some other sport, of course. You're more than just a sport you play. I always say an athlete is what you are, not who you are. Hey, what's up guys? It's Nicholas Davenport, AKA Mr. Mental Muscle. And this clip right here with Nikola Jokic is a perfect demonstration of athletic identity. Now, if you're not familiar with Nikola Jokic, he's the NBA Finals MVP. He just won the championship with the Denver Nuggets. He made history. The Miami Heat, my hometown team, they unfortunately didn't win, but it was a great effort. But you can see when Malika Andrews asked him what he could have done or how he sees himself as a player, his answer was great in so many different levels. Well, now you're the finals MVP. How close do you feel like you are to your personal peak, to the best player that you can possibly be? I really don't know. Um, I think I can be much better but you need to still sacrifice yourself but uh, basketball is not the main thing in my life uh, it's uh, something that uh, i'm good at i'm just happy that as a team you know individuals if i'm individual i'm gonna play some other sport of course now let's talk about what exactly athletic identity is now this is when you identify yourself as an athlete now it seems pretty straightforward but it could be more tricky because if you're an athlete is that all that you care about is that all that you do no you're a student sometimes you're a father a brother a sister a cousin you're a person in the world you have interests outside of your sport you have friends outside of your sport but a lot times these lines can get blurred and you might see what's the issue if you have high athletic identity you have that competitive spirit you always want to win you do whatever it takes to be the best and that's definitely needed but can you go too far now Nicholas says perfectly in the interview like I can be better I want to try my best and put myself out there but there's more to me than just sport and I live this myself I was a collegiate athlete I didn't do too well I kind of fizzled out before I even became a senior but I knew there was more to my life like they say an athlete dies twice and I say get ready for that first funeral as an athlete and then obviously you're a real one as a person. Now I was ready. I have friends who didn't really adapt well to life outside of sport because for so many years they've been told this is what it takes to be the best. You're good. You're great. No one can stop you. And then you get into the real world and you realize not everyone's going to be on your side. Not everyone's going to congratulate you. Your teammates go their separate ways. And this doesn't mean they're bad people, but life goes on. And a lot of times we put so much emphasis on these students, these kids, even these pros being athletes we forget that they're people too because the downside of having too high athletic identity is not understanding that you as a person your self-worth your value is separate than your worth on the field the court the track whatever it may be because if you lose a game it doesn't mean you lost in life that you're a bad person but sometimes the people who have too high of an athletic identity they're going to do that so him demonstrating this is great because not only they can see that he's a fierce competitor he says he'll do what it takes to win but he makes it quite clear that hey basketball is great it's taking me far it's giving me the opportunity I've gotten success now. I'm one of the top players in the NBA, going down in history, of course, but I'm Nikola first. And just like you, you're who you are first. So remember that, whether you're at the highest level in the pros, all the way down to Little League and everything in between, you're more than just a sport you play. I always say an athlete is what you are, not who you are. So take that and run with it. And as always, get your mind right.